In the previous video, we solved for triangles using these trig values for special angles of 30, 60, 90, and 45, 45, 90 degrees. Now we're going to find all unknown side lengths and angle measures of a triangle when it isn't the special right triangle, 30, 45, and 60. So for example, we see this down here, we have 28 degrees. And so in this case, we need to use a calculator. So finding all unknown side lengths and angle measures of a triangle is called solving the triangle. And maybe you can recall some of that from geometry when you solved an entire triangle. So we're going to do that again here. Solving right triangles that have acute angles other than 30, 45, and 60 may require the use of a calculator. We need to make sure that the calculator is set in degree mode. So here is a reminder of how to evaluate the function using a calculator round to four decimal places. So we have sine of 23 degrees equals 0 0.3907. Now if you just have your cell phone um, here, for example, this works like a scientific calculator. And so if we look at this here, first of all, we want to make sure that it's set in degree mode. And so notice that at this bottom right corner or left corner, it says RAD. That means if we want to put it in radian mode, we press that button. Now you could try pressing it. If you press it, you'll actually see RAD show up here. So that's how you know whether it's in radian or degree mode. If there's nothing here, then therefore it is in degree mode, which is what you want. Now, if you see the word RAD here, then you want to press this button and actually you'll see it turn into a DEG, which is degree. So again, in order to make sure it's in degree mode, make sure there is nothing here. Now, in order to evaluate sine of 23 degrees, you type in the angle you want and then sine. So you type in 23, then press sine, and the answer comes up automatically. And so when it comes up on the calculator, you would get 0 0.3907, 311, 28, and so forth. Now we only want up to four decimal places. And so this is four decimal places. Now in your calculator, you would see 3907. You look at the next number, which is three. And so that's lower than five. So therefore the seven stays the same. So just as a reminder of how to round. So the answer is 0 0.3907. So now, let's use a calculator to solve a right triangle. So we're given triangle ABC. Now it's not drawn to scale, and so don't worry about that. Um, we want to solve for first, the easiest thing to find is the missing angle. Now we already know that this is 90 degrees here, and it gives us 28 degrees here. Now remember the sum of the interior angles of a triangle, that equals 180 degrees. Now, because we already know that this angle is 90 degrees, these two acute angles must equal 90 degrees, right? So A, so just real quick, A plus B plus C, all the angles have to equal 180 degrees. Now, because we know C is 90 degrees already, we know that A plus B must also be 90 degrees, correct? Because 90, if this is both 90, 90 plus 90 is 180 degrees. Now that's important to note because it's 28 plus this angle here should equal 90 degrees. So the shortest way to find the missing angle here is you take 90 degrees minus the given angle of 28 degrees, and so that will be 62 degrees, and that gives us angle B. So that's the shortest way to do it. Now you could always do 180 degrees, then this is minus 90 degrees, and then minus 28 degrees, and you will still get the same answer of 62 degrees. Now I only say to use this because it's shorter, so that's the fastest way to find this angle, 90 minus that angle you're given, 28 degrees. So this is B. Next, we need to write two equations using trig functions. One that involves a ratio of finding A and the other involving finding C. So let's look at this triangle here. We're given 28 degrees. We know this side here. And so what is this side in relation to that angle? So we're looking at either it is the hypotenuse, the opposite, or the adjacent. So in this case, B is our adjacent. 
Now, because it's our adjacent, then let's write a ratio. Let's start with A. So let's figure out what A is. So given this is 28 degrees, this will be opposite over adjacent. And opposite over adjacent is tangent. So tangent, and the angle is 28 degrees, that equals opposite, which is A, over our adjacent, which is 15. So here is our first ratio involving A. Now we need to find one involving C here. So use this angle, we, this side we already are given, and this angle here, so don't change that. So we have adjacent over hypotenuse. So we have adjacent over hypotenuse, and what ratio is adjacent over hypotenuse? That is cosine. So cosine, and our angle is 28 degrees, equals the adjacent, which is 15, over hypotenuse, which is C. Now let's solve for the variable. So let's first start with tangent of 28 degrees equals A over 15. So we want to solve for side A. So isolating the A, we need to multiply both sides by 15. So now we have A equals 15 times tangent of 28 degrees. Now with your calculator, now if you're just using your cell phone or just the gray calculator, how you do that is you're gonna type from the inside out, meaning that you're gonna type in 28 tangent and then times 15. Now if you're using the other calculator, the TI30X2S, or like the pink calculator in class that we use, you can type it like you see it. You would type 15 and then press the button 10 and then 28 and equals and you will get the same answer. Okay, now again, going back to this calculator here, if you were to use your cell phone or some type of scientific calculator, this is what you would press. You would press 28 tangent then times 15 and then you would equal it and you would get 7.9756 and then you have to round to two decimal places so again you would get 7.9756 now if we're only rounding to two decimal places you look at this number one more over now it's greater than it's five or greater so therefore 7.98 is what it rounds to. So 15 tangent of 28 degrees is 7.98. Okay, so that is side A. Now let's solve for cosine 28 degrees equals 15 over C. Now first of all, we see that C is in the denominator. We really don't want it in the denominator. So I'm gonna show you this. The long way to do this is that you multiply both sides by C first. Then, so let me write this, C times cosine of 20 degrees equals 15. Then we're gonna divide by cosine of 28 degrees. We do not want, again, we do not want the C to be in the denominator uh, because then the answer will not come out correctly and you'll have to do a little bit more work to kind of get that solved. So we're dividing both sides by cosine of 28 degrees. And so what I want you to notice is what we see. This is C equals 15 over cosine of 28 degrees. So a really quick way in order to do something that's in this form, so notice initially it was cosine 28 degrees equals 15 over C. Now when we rewrote it, notice that C equals 15 over cosine of 28 degrees. So the fastest way to do it is to change the places of C and cosine of 28. Notice that they just switched places. So if you ever see that where the variables in the denominator, you have this on this side, just change the places. That's the fastest way to do it. But algebraically, this is what's happening, okay? So now let's solve for this. 
So this is how you will type it in the calculator if you're trying to find 15 over cosine of 28. You will type first 1, 5, then divided by parentheses 28, and then cosine, and then equals, and you will get 16.988. And actually it keeps on repeating. Now 16.988, so remember we're only rounding to two decimal places. So when we're rounding to two decimal places, we look one more further that is greater than five. So therefore we find that C is approximately 16.99. So here are the calculator directions, just in case you need them. You would type in 15 divided by open parentheses, 28 cosine then equals. Try out these examples down here. Here are the answers. In the next video, I will work these out. And so if you need to watch it, it will be there for you.